Good evening. It's Tuesday, February 16th. I call the regular meeting of the Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Commission to order. Everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I was at 7.43, yeah. And everyone is here except Mr. Pollock, who's running a little behind, and when he shows up, he can take over for me. Um, do we have any additions or deletions to the agenda? Yes, I'd like to add something. Mr. Oh, I'm sorry, it's under no old bitus. I, I apologize. I do not want to add anything more. Okay. And I move to approve the agenda as presented. Oh. Yes, Jane? About the um, lending library update. Update? Okay. Put that at the end of old business. Any other changes? Motion to accept the agenda as amended. Second motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Did everyone have a chance to look over meeting minutes? Yes. Okay. Any, any changes? Motion to accept is written. I second. Motion passes. <laughs> Next is open public comment. We have one member of the public wants to offer anything. So if anyone shows up mid-meeting, um, they're welcome to come up and offer their comments. If not, we're going to move on to old business. Uh, Jane, do you want to take us through the Welcome Center literature? Or would that be Bob? Okay. We had an awesome meeting last week. The four of us met together and made popcorn, and we had a good time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, this is just a draft, and I noticed there were mistakes, and I updated on my iPad. If you see any errors, changes, I want to change pictures, send me an email, and I'll make all kinds of corrections. So I would say this is about maybe 90% complete. If you like the color, font, and I think our target date is hopefully get it completed before Island Bus so we can pass out to our newcomers when they come to visit Island Bus. That's a good idea. This really pops, Jane. You did a, this is a wonderful job. Good presentation, good color, great pictures. Uh, and uh, in addition to, you were talking about having a survey. Here, is a, I was thinking, if you noticed on the brochure, the alpaca on the lower, lower right, this is a different scan. This is a survey that people can scan on the phone. I added the link too. And the questions are, do you want to know what the questions are? Yes. Okay. You can change, add, or delete. One, where are you from when you came, when you came to visit Gorgia? Maybe from China. What was your purpose to visit Gorgia? Business. Festival, marathon, dining, shopping, kayaking, biking, visiting family and friends, or other. Specify other. Number three, what do you hope to have Grogio offer in the future? I want this and this and this and this. And four, any comments you wish to share. So if there's anything there, just send me an email and I'll add on to the survey. But we can have the survey. Okay, I have a question. Yes. Oops. Okay, when you ask um, what would you like to see Grozio do in the future, okay, are we, if we're asking that question, are we able to follow up with the recommendations of people? Good question. I don't know if we're going to have emails, though, but we're going to have, like, Facebook, no, like our uh, Grozio walks and bike. You may possibly follow up. It's basically a comment box. Can we follow through? It depends on the different department. Okay. And, I, and, and also, will we be able to actually do the like their physical request? If they say, well, I would like to see you guys have horse races over at the airport. Are we able to accommodate what people are suggesting to us, or are we just asking for suggestions? 
Wow. Hopefully not a department will send it to the stable. So don't worry about it. Right, but we do talk about, I thought, um, the animal shelter. I thought we said maybe we didn't say anything on here about. Okay. Stables. Well, we do have stables on there. So that might engineer, you know, it might tr trigger somebody to ask something like that. Well, they could, uh, so are we, the I'm just asking, I just want to know that, are we asking for things that we're not able to probably follow through on? Maybe I need to clarify that question. I think, I think what Jane is trying to uh, show is that we are open to taking input. Just because somebody would like to see horse races or a rocket launch doesn't mean that we're going to do a rocket launch or a horse race. But it's interesting to hear what other people might want us to do. Oh, okay. And a lot of people come up and say, you know, we'd like to, we'd like to see the alpacas open more. Uh, maybe we'll go to someone and talk to the alpaca farmer and see. But again, it's not a guarantee. I think it's a it's a request for input. What can we do to make Grozio more attractive or interesting to you? Okay. Is that we just see what happens. I was also thinking, it's not just limited to grow deal. What if, oh, Sabato might have a better chance to provide horse racing, for example, at that um, car race, that race. We can share with the different um, departments and different down with the community. Okay. People talk, let's make it happen. Okay. I guess where this brochure is going is we're allowing the traveler himself to research all the things on Grow Seal. That's what this brochure pretty much is hopefully getting out to them. When they see something, they can come to growseal.com and go on to things and maybe ask a particular uh, question to the rec department, to pack or whatever, what they would like in the near future. And if there's something we can accommodate, we'll see what we can do. It's what, it's what the survey is about. Do and also maybe, we, maybe what we could do is if they allow, put that scan thing on that app. More information, scan this one to put on your phone. Absolutely. I'm if looking. that's allowed. The app is the big, mm -hmm. big one. All right, so maybe I can add that somewhere. Jane, I just have uh, one comment to make on that. Um, I think this gives us an opportunity to open the pool of volunteers we may be able to contact and maybe we could ask if anybody would like to uh, volunteer and they could leave their information and we would contact them maybe with uh, okay. paperwork they would have to fill out and um, it may open a door for volunteers to get involved. Maybe I can add uh, like number four or five. I could say if you're interested in volunteering anywhere from BPAC to animal shelter, send me your email and I'll send it to the appropriate department. I think that would be great. Okay, I'll do that. I forgot my pen. Anybody have a pen that can write notes? And the brochure itself is pretty explanatory. I love the way we've highlighted the uh, bike path. In a couple other areas, yeah. emergency buildings, safe buildings. Uh, this is really a nice brochure of the whole island and how our bike paths and their areas are showing on this brochure. Done a wonderful job, Jane. Thank you. Thanks for the teamwork. I had fun last week. It was really good. We were there two hours. We were all together. Mm -hmm. Don, Aaron, Jane, myself. Wonderful job. Good input. It was really thank a successful you, meeting. Thank, thank you, Jane. Yeah, that um, was fun. Jane, whose dog is that? Mine. Is it's that not your my dog? Job. <laughs> my picture. I want to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom. I had a suspicion. Pay modeling Okay. <laughs> okay, the next item on the agenda is the non-motorized plan, um, I think also in conjunction with the, the new rec plan. Uh, I know right. Brian was kind of champion, championing this, this excuse me. Um, is there anyone else who could speak to that, or should we put that, should we put that off until the end when he shows up? Can speak about it. 
you can on. you can back it up if you'd like. You know, I do know that a lot was done in the in the rec master plan in re, in relation to this. And I saw a note that Brandy had uh, had to modify some of the input because uh, you know there, there's quite a bit of uh, information that was sent, and so I, I think that uh, they've cherry picked the very best, and you'll see some input. You can't get everything, but you got a lot. That's what I heard. No, I actually I just saw Brian walk in, so we'll give him a minute, and um, we'll put this we'll put this off until he shows back up. Um, we'll give him a standing ovation, or, or I think we ought to do that. <laughs> okay, the next item is additional commissioners. Um, I was not at the last meeting, but I saw that um, we've been approved to add two new commissioners. So I'm assuming Who this. Who that? Oh, did I? I, maybe I misread that. It's, okay. We, we have to present that to the township board. Okay. And so. Uh, th last week was discussion. Today you vote on it. Oh, okay. Whether, I thought that it was. Uh, to recommend that we add to. Okay. Okay. And, and just, just for information's sake, whenever you want to do something, uh, we are a recommending body. All right. And the recommending body goes to the township board through the liaison, which happens to be me. And says, this is what we'd like to do. We'd like your blessings. So uh, it's usually preceded by a discussion item and then an action item. So this is this is listed as a old business today, but uh, you could make it an action item or if you wish to amend the agenda, the agenda and make a, make a formal vote to add to, seek to. to. Cheers. Okay, so this was discussed at the last meeting. Um, feel that we're ready to vote on it? We'll let um, Mr. Pollock come in, and then uh, he can take over, and we'll we'll put it to a vote. Sounds good. Oh. <laughs> That's because I made it. <laughs> it's because we're having fun. So to bring Mr. Pollock up to speed. Um, we just went over the Welcome Center literature. We um, moved the non-motorized plan until you would hear and speak more to it. Um, and now we are going to vote on recommending um, additional commissioners to the, excuse me, to the board. Oh no, I'd be happy to hand it over. How about it? We'll, we'll do the we'll do the vote, and then you can take over. Um, so, do we need uh, do we need to discuss this anymore? I'm up. I think what you need to do is just formalize your 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 proposal. Just make a recommendation that I take to the township board a request to add two commissioners due to the extreme bike lo bike path load for this commission. We need the help. Um. So I, I move to recommend to the Township Board um, that the School and Pedestrian Advisory Commission add two more commissioners um, to help assist with all of our ambitious goals and meeting them. All in favor? Aye. Oh, wait, I need, second. Second. I need a second. Second to motion. Excuse me, this second is my first time. <laughs> then you get your discussion. I recognize that this can be a little cumbersome. It can be. But it's just the way it has to work. What are you planning on? Once, once approved, once approved, what are you planning on sending out the um, announcement? We still have we have not approved anything because we can't approve anything. Right, we I mean, must recommend. And so what we are doing tonight is formally recommending that the township board allow us to add two more commissioners. And they have to decide whether that satisfies their need or not. I think I don't think it's a problem, but it is their right. They can come back and say no, but they probably will say I can't put words in their mouth. Okay. Uh, so you, you've had a you, you've had a proposal and you've had a second. Anybody else has any questions about the procedure? Or, you know, then I'd be glad to help. But it's it's Aaron leading the charge on this one. So I do have a question about that. Our standard uh, procedure for 
um, putting commissioners in place. I don't know that that's been set in stone or if we have that in writing, but if not, I would like to have a study session or at least conversation on what our standards are for putting the commissioners in place, be it interviewing uh, backgrounds and... Uh, that would come after you have permission mm -hmm. to have the vacancies. Then you would interview commissioners. We would we would go through the same procedure that everybody else does in every other commission. You have to turn in an application and tell people where you live, can you be here every month, what is your interest, you know, the, the general standard thing. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? Uh, you expect to spend long periods of time away from the island. And what is your interest in this commission? And then they'll, we will bring... Those applicants to a first meeting between Brian Pollock and myself, chair, chair and liaison, and we'll take a quick look at them and all people that that are not uh, in any way precluded from being on it will be passed along by Brian to you as his commission members for you to review. And then you will call those people and interview them, and you will make a selection. And then that, that selection, again, becomes a recommendation that that's carried to the township. I would recommend that, uh, you know, Joe Smith be appointed to fill one vacancy and take from there. I bring that up because if there are viewers that are interested and they're listening, they may want that information up front and uh, start to get some idea what would be required of them. But that was my reasoning for that. I understand that. It's it, Again, it can be a little convoluted and it can be a little bit long, but it works for everybody else and we need to be for. Thank you, Wally. Okay, well, we had a motion and we had a second. Um, so all in favor of recommending two new vacancies to the board, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion passes. I will let Mr. Pollock take over, um, and you can update us with uh, information on non-motorized plan that you've been working on. Great, well, thank you. And you know, I just start by saying you know, we've all been working on it, and I appreciate everyone's help on that. Um, you know, it's, every, it's a culmination of everything we've been talking about over the past couple of years. Uh, I just kind of put you know, pen to paper and came up with the drafts, and I still got you know great comments from all of you. So I appreciate everything. Um, so you know, basically, uh, it's. The difference from last month and now is that I made a, uh, a more of a format that would fit into the recreation uh, master plan update because uh, Miss Boyd had asked if we'd like to have any inf information updated as part of that. So I sent that all to you, and uh, she was happy with the content. Uh, as far as the format specifically, uh, she had a, a format already in mind for the, the document. So it might look a little different than what was presented to you, but everything as far as the, the content should be the same. So um, with that, um, you know, I don't have anything more to update at this time, but uh, I think that in the near future we should figure out um, how to proceed with the uh, official non-motorized plan. So that's all I have. Uh, yeah, Jane. I have a question. Alan, would that be the information you need for uh, promoting active communities? Sorry, Jane, I was taking notes. Could you say that again? Yeah, sorry about that. Um, with that non motorized plan that Brian was talking about, would that be a good information that you need so you can go to the server link of promoting active community? Yes, that is a uh, that is a link that we would use in the um, PAC, the Proning Active Community. Um, good. The information will be added and would maybe take us to a higher level. So that's something I'm waiting on. We've sat still on the uh, the PAC application this year because we had nothing new to add. This may give us that boost to the next level. So it may it may move us up to maybe a silver level, which uh, is quite the honor. There's only about three in the state to have that. That's great. Any other questions? Ryan, we actually, um, at the beginning of the meeting, we added an update to the lending library um, for the last item under old business. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I 
assume that's Jane that's got the update for that. Okay. Um, Mr. Mutuga and her daughter Paige were going to come tonight, but they were unable to. I'm going to read the email on what they have thought. Um, she will give me a drawing. Once I get the drawing, I'll email to you. Paige is planning a replica of a shock point guard booth with the NASGI logo. Navy. Polaris Station. Bound. <laughs> logo on the side of the global oh. road back location. For the bird sanctuary, she has a birdhouse style box planned. A birdhouse style over there. So I was any pictures once I get them. Thank you, Carol and Paige. Thank you for the update and thank them for the update as well. Anyone else have any questions that we should relate to? Anybody? Nope. Okay. Um, already covered additional commissioners, rec plan. I assume we've covered the welcome center material as well? Yes. Okay. Great. So I guess we move on to new business and bike to school day. I know, Aaron, you've been doing some great work with that. Mm -hmm. Bike to school day will be May 4th, um, rain date May 6th, 2016. And uh, three schools will be participating. Um, Park Lane, Meridian, and the middle school. Um, the principals seem very excited. PAT and PTO also excited, so I'm going to work closely with Stacy Dammon and Annette Chow. Um, and we are, I guess, in the infancy of, of planning, but we, uh, we have a few years under our belt now, and I think it's going to be a good one. So if anyone wants to help out either on the day or with uh, preparations, just let me know. Aaron, one more time on the date, please. Yes, May 4th. It's a Wednesday. You said the 6th was the rain date? Yes. So May, May 4th is the national day, and we're keeping in line with that. And the rain date is just something that we added um, after the first year when it rained. We learned our lesson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great. Aaron, one other question on that. I know there's a, quite a base of volunteers involved. The parents that come out of the school to volunteer, are, is the school going to handle that end of the volunteers? Yes. Or are we doing that? No, in, in the past, PAT and PTO have been awesome. They usually um, contact Give, and then they send out a, um, a sign-up genius, and all the parents have signed up. They've been wonderful. That's great. That really helps, doesn't it? It does. Okay. Um, you know, and you were talking about video. So what, what target date do you want me to collect all the videos and have it ready by May 4th, or you want to have it sooner? What is your what, goal? What do you think? I, I know that we kind of threw this together last minute um, for the last day, and I thought it was a really good idea. I think there just wasn't enough notice. And uh, the principal of the middle school right. was saying he'd really like to get the students involved in promoting the day and just maybe reach out to some student groups. And I thought that that would be a fun way. Um, so I don't know. What do you think? Maybe we should have the deadline before and then we can use it to Definitely. get everybody excited Not about the, the day. Not the night before. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so um, May 4th, we can announce it maybe like beginning, like mid-March. And I was done by third week of April. When maybe? is when is their spring break? I wonder if we would want the deadline to coincide with either the know. end of spring break, the beginning of spring break, or something. I, I'll look into that and I'll get back to you. And we'll we'll talk about a date. Maybe announce it when they come back Monday. And then I can I can. Do you want me to make the flyer or do you want to take your flyer? If if you want to make one, you've made great I'll flyers. Like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would. I made sure I would post it to the school, uh, the electric backpack, electronic backpack. I'll make sure they have it. Okay. I will communicate on email. Okay. Is there any thought to doing any sort of presentation with the, sc the schools to let children know about safe bicycling practices or, uh, you know, teaming up what we've done in the past? Alan, you've done, you know, great work with the, the safety course, and, you know, maybe piggybacking off of that and having things be a part of a, a safety week or... Well, I was thinking about that, too. I'm wondering if we should try to do an hour seminar at each of the schools just before this. So immediately before, maybe even the Monday, the, that would be... May 2nd to um, 
remind them on the safety of using helmets, um, which, you know, the rules of the road, a few other things, and uh, get them pumped up for this, and it, it may even help to uh, bolster um, better attendance. And I recognize that, you know, and I School can do districts, that. Districts, you know, they, they do have you know set schedules, so mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll be able to get in, but it might be nice just to, you know, entertain the notion and see if the schools are receptive to it. I think that's that'd be a great idea. Maybe I should reach out and contact the three schools, and if we could do it in a day, it would just be an hour at each school. I don't think it would take more than an hour, but um, I, you know, I always try to get the uh, the uh, free Slurpee uh, certificates for. Um, rewarding kids for wearing their helmet, but the problem is they generally don't come out until early or midsummer with those. So I hate to uh, I hate to plan for those and not have them. So if we get them, great. If we don't, uh, there's not, not much we can do. But I'm all for uh, putting a class together if the schools will let us come in for an hour. And uh, I think this that week would be great, uh, especially that Monday before. You know, and I can just talk to them and see if. Uh, if their schedule would allow it. That would be excellent. Um, other idea I had was, um, I know in the past that you know, we've reached out to the high school and the middle school and they helped us design our logo. I'm wondering if we approach one of the classes about potentially okay. making some uh, VOs for Bike to School Day. You can even give them the examples of the ones that were done last year and you know, see if they want to you know, do that as part of their curriculum or just an after school activity, but you know, maybe reaching out to a class of you know, people that we know are interested in that type of format to begin with, we might get some more um, entries that way. A good idea. Allow them to make a, a nice video, make it a contest. Brian, do you think we'll have an informal meeting before this so we can start discussing these issues? I, th I think that would be beneficial, so yeah. Amongst other issues, but I think that would be great to work these out and maybe off air in, in a study session. Sounds good. That's my key to shut up. <laughs> no, no. I'm joking. Um, great. Any other uh, questions about Bike School Day? Um, Jane, I think you wanted to add something. You mentioned about adding something for uh, new business based on downriver bike rides. Did that come yeah. up? Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Um, last summer, we had a successful launch of a lady ride last summer. And I'm thinking, I want more. So I have been communi communicating with different um, parks and recreation directors in Rwanda, no, in um, Woodhaven. I saw Tim Rooney, I talked to him. I spoke to a lady in Trenton. I understand that she liked the idea. The point is, I talked to Brian, I want to create a down with a flyer, um, down with a bike. A purpose for family and slow riding. Threaten cycling club, that's very fast people. I want slow so I can say, for example, wind that is every third, every second Thursday at 5 o'clock. Go to it every third Saturday at 10 a.m. All down river and it'll be distributed one. So that way, hey, I want to go biking. Oh, we can go over there. Oh, I can go over there. And I'm thinking creating a Facebook page at down river bikes. I can keep them posted, updated. So, I'm, my my plan of action is write a letter, send them an email, and say, if you're interested, give me a date and time, and I'll put together in one flyer. Come. A good idea. If you give them in a time frame, so you can get the flyer out, if they can. Yeah. Dates I and can times immediately, time. so you can. Otherwise, if they put it on the back burner, and you're waiting. Be yeah. kind of late for us to be published. Yeah, I was planning on doing it by end of March, maybe. So if I get the approval, I can go ahead and send out the letters to all Down River City. As high as Wanda, Lower Tobacco, right around um, New Boston, Flat Rock area. <laughs> so. I can contact them, and I would suggest that maybe not just parts and recreation directors, maybe mayors or whoever I can talk to. You have somebody you recommend I can talk to? Parts and rec or mayor? 
and I have some folks that might be able to talk to. Um, but I, Gene, I mentioned to you this you know, privately, but I just wanted to bring up publicly. It's like I think this is a great idea, like in concept. Um, while we are literally an island, you know, you know, figuratively we're not. You know, we're part of a larger community, and you know, the more that we get people biking an entire area, the more people might be biking into Grozeal, and you know, the quote of you know, a rising tide lifts all boats. So, uh, an aspect of you know, just doing a better good for our community, the larger area. But my one question is. Because you know, I, I like the idea, and I've thought it myself before, but I didn't know if it's mission creep specifically for BPAC to be doing this in an official capacity. So I wanted everyone to you know, to know about this that you know Jane had this idea, and is it something that we move forward as BPAC, or is it something that she's doing more so on her own as an individual? I can do it on my own. Facebook page. I'm on the computer all day. I mean, nothing better to do anyway. So. Um, Basically, I just got to create a flyer. Yeah. But I'm going to have them lead it and run it on their own. Mm -hmm. I just got to have all in one so people can hop around down river. And keep in mind that, you know, we, we are under construction with the township app, and that would be something really good possibly for that. Mm -hmm. If there's like a... um. Okay. Something on there that said like BPAC, and you hit on that, and then it it gives all our activities, and maybe that could be one of them. That'd be good. Be like you said, event. though, Brian, though you were saying though you didn't know if it fit in with BPAC. Maybe just downriver activities that include Grozeal, something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. that's an avenue to go. You know, is that it, the Grozeal app? Would you care to elaborate about the uh, the Grozeal app for those that might be watching that don't know about it? Oh, okay. Well, and Wally may know a little bit better um, on this, but um, from what I've seen, we're um, constructing an app that will um, people can find things out about Grozeal, about the departments, about um, the township, and different things um, like recreation, I think, will have an icon and you can click on that and it'll give you information. Um, we could, BPAC, we, we can have uh, a spot on that, on the app. I'm not exactly sure, you know, what they call the right terminology for that, but where you could go and then find out, you know, things on your phone that you know, that we're doing and our rides and stuff like that. The, and then what I believe it can also, because um, my boss was asking me today um, from the water department, she said maybe think of like um, things that people, questions people have all the time. And then what we could do if it's not, you know, answered through our department, we can, you know, give them another avenue to go to, you know, or send them to a different uh, website where to find their answer at. So, and then Wally, I'm not sure if you guys talked about it at the board meeting at all. It's uh, it's something that's in progress, and uh, although you're touching on some of it, maybe I can just add to what what you're saying. Thank you. You know, we have we have a program through the township, through the fire department and police department called Code Red, and Code Red was a was a broadcast message to people in Grozeal for things that are of critical and imminent importance, uh, perhaps a uh, bad weather or a, a water main break or things like that would be pushed. Uh, it there would be a, a ability to form a message and then send it to everybody who registered for this app. Okay, so, so if you wanted to push an event, you, you, could, you could make a one-time push to, to talk about whatever event you wish to. It's, it's not going to be like the Gross Hill, uh website. It's, it's going to be more of, a, of an important push thing. So uh, you're going to give messages. So. And that app is under development. I think it'll come out in another month or so, as I understand it. Uh, stay tuned. I'm not working on it myself. Uh, other people in the, uh, in the administrative office is primarily Dale is, is working on it. And uh, I think you're going to like it. I think it was a very worthwhile investment uh, for, for what we're getting, for the price we're going to pay. It's renewable every year. It's... Uh, 
Let's let it talk for itself in a month or so, okay? I, I, I wouldn't be worried about jumping into it right now, but if, if you're going to have a Girls of Township island-wide garage sale, you might want to push that a couple, three times, and that's that's what that app will do for you. It'll separate it from the, from the code red important weather and uh, danger messages, okay? So, so it's going to be two things going on out there. We don't want to have everything coming out of code red because people will tend to ignore it. But this other push device will, will be really, I think, really a nice, a nice assistance to us. We don't have a, a, a newspaper right now, and that's where, that's where this has been uh, perceived to fill a gap. Thank you. I've got, a, I've got a printout of what this, what this app may look like. And it starts off with things, we got meetings, you can click on that, Island Fest, click on that, community, click on that, things to do, click on that, alerts, tell us, contact us, uh, recreation and events. And once this app is up, according to this, you would be able to click on all this and research you know, residents, travelers, of what's going on around Gross Hill. Looks like a good app when the time comes. Thank you all three of you for that clarification. Um, so I guess you know, back to uh, the Downriver bicycle rides. Does anyone have any comments specific ones? Do they feel that this should be something that our, our commission should be doing in official capacity? Or is it fine for you know, Jane to be leading this on, his, on her own and any of us that are interested in helping her in our own capacities are able to do so? But you know, I just want to make sure that we're not doing any mission creep with the, this specific commission. Well, I think you wanted to say something. I see, we're, I see mission overload, not mission creep. And that's the reason that we were talking about asking for two more commissioners on this commission. If we're going to tangle with stuff like this, we need help. And we need, we need people who have inspiration and people who are willing to donate perspiration. And uh, so far, everybody in this group, my Wildcat committee, is uh, doing both. But we could sure lose a couple more horses. And that, that, I think I think what I'm saying is that whatever you decide to do with this this uh, downriver area bike pass system, that more horses are necessary. Whether Jane does it her own and we have horses to take over where she leads off or, or what have you. More people. Wally, anyone else? Well, if I may say, I think it's a great idea for Jane to take it over until the board decides whether we can have two more commissioners. But she also, Jane also knows that if uh, she needs help with something, all she has to do is mention something to us, and we're more than willing to help. But if she feels that she can take this on, and the way she has showed me in the past how she takes things on by grabbing the bull by the horns and just running with it, I have faith in Jane. I think she sleeps three hours a day, two days a week. <laughs> Sometime. <laughs> Sometime. <laughs> so, to you go ahead and run the ladder then? Yeah, I think that's great. Okay, the ladder gun. Okay. Okay. All right. Nothing else as far as new business, so anyone who doesn't have anything else will move into reports and closing. Hearing nothing, is there any other upcoming rides or runs that we should be publicizing? Jane. I just found out uh, that she's going uh, May 7th, cycle into spring, sponsored by Detroit, to the Detroit area. And it's a 20 mile ride on May 7th, cycle into spring. Any others? Um, the Rock CF Marathon, or excuse me, Half Marathon, is March 20th, and that's here on the island. into the Township Liaisons Report. Wally, what you got for us? Uh, half an hour, 45 minutes of very interesting stuff. All about the chili contest, I think. <laughs> uh, as you know, I've been beating the drum for uh, helping to repay the, the loan that the Recreation Commissioners committed to being repaid for the dasher boards at the rink. We have a great rink. We have a crummy winter for ice skating. The rink has not officially been able to be opened because the latent heat in that concrete just won't let it freeze yet. 
I think it's frozen one day and then it's thawed the next. When you stand on the ice, the water gushes out of the edges of it's. You know, and if it was last year, we'd have opened for six weeks. Now there are people who are making, shall I say, snarky remarks about that, and uh, saying that you know we can skate on ponds and we can go across the bridge and skate over there and uh, my only remark about that is a smart smart remark re in return snap on your rollerblades and go skate there next May we've got an all season rink we don't have to depend on just ice it's a beautiful rink it's lit we can have events there you can have skating parties there you can have races there roller derby whatever you want to do and I think Donna would be good in roller derby. She's got sharp elbows. But you know, the point is, is that we still, whether we have ice or whether we don't have ice, we have got to pay this money back. And I need your help, guys. We need people buying tickets to this chili contest. Uh, it's Saturday, February 20th, this coming Saturday. It starts at 6 p.m. and it ends at 8 p.m. If you're going to enter your chili, I need to know it. Please let me know by tomorrow night. I'll save a place for you. If you enter your chili, you're going to compete for trophies, first, second, third place. And I have the trophies ordered. They're beautiful. Uh, I've seen pictures of them. They don't have them in my hands yet. But uh, uh, let's have some fun with this. We're going to have a 50-50. We're going to have things for, for the kids' drawings and, and uh, door prizes. Uh, you've been to events that I put on before, and I'm proud of them. And we're going to do another one this Saturday, but I need some help getting people in the door. It's $10 for an adult. It's $5 if your children are 5 to 15 years old. And if your kids are under 5, they're free. You can't beat price. And you're going to be able to meet with your neighbors. One of the one of the things I will tell you is that I spoke to past state senator Bruce Patterson yesterday. He says, I'm coming. I love chili dogs. So we're going to have some people there that are interesting to talk to. We're going to have a lot of fun. And I have plenty of tickets available. Anybody that needs a ticket, please see me. But this rink is for our kids. This rink is for our young adults. This rink is for folks even my advanced age. I'm going to get training wheel skates <laughs> and one of them things that you can walk behind, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm picking on myself. <laughs> but we're going to have fun with this rink and let, let's, let's have some fun getting it paid off too. After this chili contest, uh, I, I have promoted for, for a lot of weeks at township level the uh, Sacred Heart Knights of Columbus fish fry. It's every Friday, and I understand it's spectacular. Uh, anybody that can put out 500 fish dinners on a Friday has got bragging rights. So uh, take a look at going there uh, on, on your Friday for your fish dinners. But my point to you here is when you think of Lent and you think of Fridays, fish, 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 fish. <laughs> Steak dinner, the Saturday after, okay? <laughs> the Saturday after Easter, we're going to have a steak dinner too. So that's our next event. We've got a, a planned uh, golf outing in June, and that's going to be kind of a, have some surprise guests. Uh, it's being put together by Carl Moore, and Carl's a rabid fan of this this rink. He will, he will do a very good job of, of bringing people in. All of us are working hard to get this rink repaid, but we want that rink there for our kids. Let's help. Can you help me? That's all I have. Well, if you would, uh, for those out there that may not know where to email somebody or whatever, can you give them uh, your email address where they can notify you if they want to enter their chili? Sure. Send it to WPOCIASK at gmail.com. Or call me on my cell phone, 734-576-1421. You can alternatively contact our police chief, Bill Porcerelli. You can contact Brandy Boyd. You can contact Dale Rehm. All of us can help you get there. And uh, they're, all, they're all pitching in to give us a hand with this. So come on down and have some fun with your neighbors. One last question. Can we, oh, sorry, can go ahead. We, um, 
purchase that ticket afterward or the van. Advance sales are $10, but if you have, if you tell me that you want a ticket and you promise you're going to be there, I'll hold a ticket for you at $10. Okay, how much at the door for people? 15 Okay. If someone wants to enter their chili, how much should they should how much should they be making? How about a nice crock pot full, all right? And a small ladle. Uh, we're going to have house chili and hot dogs, all you can eat, and the other chilies are there for tasting. We've got some interesting uh, entrants already. Eh? Uh, th this is restaurant that's supposedly coming down to water's edge here pretty soon. It's called Smokies on the River. Smokey says, I have a white chicken chili that is world class. I've advised him already that my son, whose white chicken chili won three times, is 350 miles away, so he's safe to enter. <laughs> and we're, ha we're having some fun with this, you know. But there are people, uh, I know one person has a venison chili that they're bringing. And uh, there, there will be quite an assortment of tastes. I'm looking forward to going against all of them. <laughs> I've already got my chili recipe. Bob, Fer Bob Fernstone has got a hockey skate in center <laughs> his, so he's using a stirrup. <laughs> All right. Good information. Good Great chili. presentation. <laughs> um, last item might be the um, commissioner's report, and I'll say that uh, from a SEMCOG perspective, uh, I've you know, heard that we're moving forward with the Iron Bell Trail, so that within Southeast Michigan, that's going to be both hike and bike, and so um, those you're probably going to be hearing a lot more about that over the next couple of years. Uh, the governor really wants to make sure that that is you know reaches fruition by the time he leaves office. So again, there might be more uh, funding opportunities. We are on the Iron Bell Trail, and I know that uh, we'll be meeting with the Downriver Linked Greenways soon to you know, find out what's been going on with the rest of Downriver as far as filling in the gaps. So um, looking forward to talking with them more about Grozeal. All I have, so unless anyone else, anything else, I'd entertain a, a motion for adjournment. A motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everyone. Walk, bike, and drive safe.